What's up everybody, it's Alex Bregman. I'm back with my top five nastiest sliders that I've had to face in the big leagues. Sliders were tough for me when I first got into baseball. They're still tough on me now. They're still tough on everybody in the game. They're a tough pitch to hit, especially when they're coming from some of the best pitchers in the game that know how to tunnel them correctly off of 95 to 100 mile an hour fastballs. What I mean by tunneling is basically throwing it off the same line. So if I'm throwing a four seam fastball up towards the top of the zone, the slider will break right off of it down to the down away, down under the zone, uh, or even away off the plate. So without further ado, I'm gonna get it in my top five. Number five, here we go. Patrick Corbin from the Washington Nationals. He has two different types of fastballs, a four seam fastball and a, and a two seam fastball. But what he really does a great job of is getting that slider to the right-handed hitter's back foot or away, down away from left-handed hitters. He is um, one of the toughest guys to see spin on his slider. You go in there and you're, most people, I am, most people are looking fastball, 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 fastball. Even with two strikes, you have to stay on the fastball. But when you're looking at it, sometimes you can see um, a different, like whether it's a dot or some, a different type spin right away, right out of the hand. But with Patrick Corbin's slider, you don't get to see that until it gets super close to the plate. He's been unbelievable. He was a key piece for their World Series run, and uh, he has uh, one of the top five nastiest sliders in the game. Number four, Chaz Rowe from the Tampa Bay Rays. We had to face him a bunch over the last few years, and he always came in to face um, Springer, Altuve, and then me, back to back to back, that righty on right matchup. And Chaz Rowe's slider is insane. It, like, if you don't see his slider starting behind you, you might as well just shut it down because it's gonna be a ball away. That's how much movement it has. So in order to get a good one to hit, you have to look for the ball like behind you. And then meanwhile, he's throwing a sinker in off the plate so you can't be looking too far so he gets to play that little cat and mouse game with you. But that's one of the best sliders, horizontal break um, in the game of baseball. Number three is Tyler Matzik from the Atlanta Braves. I got to face him this last year in the World Series. He uh, he has 99 uh, four seam fastball that explodes out of his hand, but the slide but the slider that he throws is insane too. Some sometimes the ones that he throws for strikes look like they're gonna be like thrown to the backstop and they come boom straight down into the zone for a strike and then the ones that are um, down beneath the zone look like that four seam fastball line right out of his hand and tunnel perfectly off that into a ball beneath the zone that gets a ton of swing and misses uh, he, he can backdoor it he can get it down and in to righties he can get it down and away to lefties I mean, he was one of the toughest left-handed pitchers I've had to face, um, hands down, in my career. All right, number two is Adam Ottavino. He has four-pitch mix, um, fastball uh, that's a two-seamer that he likes to backdoor. Sometimes he'll occasionally throw it into. He's got a four-seam fastball that he'll throw up in the zone, a cutter, and then a wipeout slider that he likes to throw. The crazy thing about him is he steps so far across his body that to a right-handed hitter, it looks like the ball's coming from way behind them. So any slider that he starts on the plate, even even middle in on the plate, is gonna be a ball down away because it has so much movement and he gets so many chases on that pitch. Um, but then when you start looking for slider against him because he, he has such a good one, he can dot up a backdoor two-seamer on command. So whenever he whenever he feels like somebody's looking for his slider, he'll just throw that sinker down and down and away, just come back, or he'll throw it even up and in, um, and and get guys to foul it straight back. But his slider is just a, the definition of a wipeout slider. It's it, you have to see it way behind you, just like Chaz Rose slider, in order to square it up. Those are the only ones that you can hit, are the ones that start behind you because they come back towards the middle of the plate. But if he gets it to start on the dish and go off the dish, you, you got no chance. The number one slider in the game of baseball, in my opinion, I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this because it's one of my teammates, but Lance McCullers Jr. Um, I feel like at the end of the year last year, Lance was a 
one of, if not the most dominant pitcher in the postseason at that time. Um, every time he went out and took the mound, we felt like we had a chance to win. And as you, if you guys remember back, he used to th he used to throw a knuckle curve. He still does. He still throws the knuckle curve. But the slider that he developed this last year um, in spring training is not a slider that that really gets a lot of uh, has a lot of depth to it. I mean, he can tweak it a little bit and make it have some depth to it. But the the, the slider that he throws now is literally. 89 to 90 miles an hour straight across horizontal and it's different than most sliders that people see most people swing at slide swing underneath sliders but you can't do that with lances lances has way too much horizontal movement it's way too hard to be able to do that too and i think that's one of the weapons that he brought about this year that actually took his game to just the next level against right-handed hitters. I feel like against left-handed hitters, he always had the front hip sinker, um, the change up, and then a ton of curveballs that really went down to the back foot of a left-handed hitter. But when he added this weapon of the horde, like this slider that goes more horizontal, it just changed, it changed the game for him. And he was able to go east-west really good against right-handed hitters. If I miss somebody, make sure you guys add them in the comments, but that's my top five list. Um, make sure you put your top five lists in the comments, subscribe, and tell us in the comments also which top five lists you guys want to see. Peace.